Well good morning YouTubers and welcome to Luxury Tech and Travel and in today's video I will be talking about the Jamie drone and whether or not it's a competitor to the Spark and whether or not you should buy it and that's all coming up right now. I've had this drone now for just over six seven weeks I put it through its paces I've flown over six hours with it and I have to say it's been a really enjoyable drone to fly and on the face of things, out of the box, this drone really should be a competitor not only to the Spark, but many other drones out there. Its price point, excellent. The specifications, 4K video, super long flight time, sensors, obstacle avoidance, various flight modes such as visual leaving, orbit mode, that type of thing. So out of the box, you would think that this drone is a, definitely a competitor to the Spark. However, after testing the drone, I'm afraid to say it's not a rival to the Spark and it's not a rival to many other drones in a similar price point. And it comes down to one thing, video stability. 4K video on this is only 20 frames per second, so pretty much unusable. And the 108030 comes with no EIS. And no EIS with a two axis gimbal, unfortunately gives you your jitter and unstable kind of shaky left to right footage and it's such a shame because I really do feel that when you look at the complete package of the JME drone with the remote controller with an extra battery with a hard case carry case extra prop guards that type of thing what you would be getting in this drone for around $650 is 40 minutes flight time great quality video because the actual camera quality picture quality is excellent so for six hundred and fifty dollars you've got a complete package you could fly this little baby everywhere it will go on for two thousand meters with the remote control however we want our drones to have great video footage and we want stable footage and unfortunately this drone just doesn't come up to scratch as far as the video quality you know during the testing FEMA Robotics have been doing constant upgrades to this drone. I think we've had 13, 14 firmware upgrades. So that leads me to two things. Firstly, the drone should never have been released at the time that it was released. And two, they are aware that this drone has many problems. Now they've resolved most of those problems. And I fed back and said this drone could be a real winner, but you've got to add EIS in there. If the 4K video goes up to 30 frames per second, it's totally usable. And then you would have a really good drone on your hands. But unfortunately, for, for myself and people that have gone out there and bought this drone, Jamie have said at this stage they're not going to add EIS. And this is where it really does fall down. Because as we know, the Spark only records at 1080, 30 frames per second. It also only has a two access gimbal, but it has that all important EIS. And I've flown the Spark and straight out of the box, when I looked at the footage, I knew that the Spark was a better drone. Not because it's a DJI product, obviously that goes a long way, but the picture quality is far better. It's simpler to use. And we all know that the Spark is not an absolutely amazing out of this world drone, but what the Spark does do is does what it says on the tin as such. It does give you good quality video footage. And that's what we all want from our drones. Now, I certainly wouldn't say that this Jamie drone is a bad drone. As I say, for $650 or $450 for the, the drone on its own, you are going to get 23 minutes flight time. The picture quality is absolutely excellent. All the various modes that come with the drone through the app are excellent and with the remote control 2,000 meters distance for a little baby like this is great so the big question should you buy it for me personally I wouldn't buy this drone I thoroughly enjoyed flying it and I think it's a great starter drone however for me I want 60 frames per second I also want to be able to film 4k at 30 frames per second and Looking around the market right now, okay, they're not small drones, but give me a Phantom 3 standard anytime. You're guaranteed great picture quality, good flight time, and reliability from DJI. If you're living in Southeast Asia, 
or you want to import from China, the the Phantom 3 Special Edition will give you 4K 30 frames per second. And also, maybe the Xiaomi Mi Drone, 4K version, 4K 30 frames per second, 1080, 60 frames per second. And all of those three drones that I've mentioned are going to come in at a similar price point and actually cheaper. So, for what I want in a drone, no, I wouldn't buy the Jamie drone. However, if you would like a small drone that you can take anywhere, throw up in the air very quickly and get, you know, average footage. It's not bad footage, then as I said, the picture quality as well as the 13 megapixel still camera are excellent. And yes, you could go into pre-production and post-production in your software and stable out some of that your jitter. But for me personally, I want a three axis gimbal. I really would like to have 4K 30 frames per second. And in this price point, well, I think I'd go with the, the three drones that I mentioned before. Personally, I fly the Mavic, I love the Mavic. Again, it's small, it's compact. And I still don't think there's any competition out there right now for the Mavic. This is the last review I'll be doing of the Jamie drone. It will be going back in the box. I don't think I'll be using this drone a great deal. Maybe my son would like to play around with it in the garden or fly it around in his bedroom. But I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've felt that the four videos that I've put together have been honest, genuine, and I'm not out there to try and give you a review of something which I don't think is great. I think on this channel, what I'm trying to do is give the good and the bad. And I'd like to think I've done that with this, this Jamie drone. I appreciate all your comments, good and bad. And happy flying, and see you soon.